Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you with a very, very exciting tutorial. It's less of a tutorial and more of a preview of one of the coolest features inside of Ozone 8, and it is a mind bender. It's called the Master Assistant. It's right here, and what it does is masters your track by itself. Yes, it's that crazy. It's essentially the Neutron technology that the Track Assistant, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but I'll leave a link to it on the blog. And what it does is analyzes the music and sets your values for you to give you a starting point. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect perfect and you're gonna have to go in and change some things but it actually does a seriously good job so let's go ahead and check it out and see how it does I will warn you the track is gonna get a lot louder once it puts the maximizer on it so just keep that in mind because the music's gonna start off kind of quiet and then jump to a louder amount so don't turn up your speakers because it's too quiet at the beginning so the first thing we want to do is click the master assistant button and we want to do that before we start the music itself because there's gonna be some options inside first of all we've got two targets we've got the streaming and the CD the streaming you're not gonna have to do anything you're just going to hit the next button and it's going to do its thing but if you choose cd you can choose the intensity now i suggest leaving it on medium if you're going to be doing the cd for a cd because it actually does a really good job with that one but obviously get in and experiment and i'm just going to run streaming right now because you're going to be listening to this video on a streaming site so it makes sense to use the streaming target for now so the next thing is just to check out this little note for best results play the loudest portion of your track that's where i am inside of my track right here i got it looped up let's go ahead and run the track hit next and watch ozone 8 do its thing. Boom, the track sounds much better already. And we can check it out by hitting the gain match button, which brings up the unprocessed signal to the same level as the process signal so we can bypass it and get a better understanding of what's actually happening to the audio instead of just thinking louder is better. You know, I'm sure you've seen the tutorials about that stuff, but let's go ahead and check it out. So boom, there you go. It sounds cleaner, it sounds smoother somehow. It just sounds way better. And again, this is just a starting point. We can get in and start tweaking anything we want inside of here. Maybe we want different dynamics processing. Maybe the EQ is a little bit too much here. Really, we can do anything we want now that the Master Assistant has given us a decent mastering chain to start from. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. <laughs> 